the Joe Rogan experience? So I'm uh, 10 days in, I think, something like that. Today's the 9th, so I'm 11 days in. I started a couple of days before, and I've been eating nothing but meat. Bacon, steak, elk meat, a lot of extra fat. If I eat the elk meat, I eat a How's lot of bacon. How's that cholesterol, son? I don't know. I got my blood work done uh, last Monday. I'll get the results back soon, and then I'm going to do it again at the end of the month. But I've already lost seven pounds. You feel good? Dude, I, I feel slim. You look good. When he came in, I was like, yeah, he's looking tight. This bitch. Boy's thick. I God. lost my I belly. Want... I had a gut. I was getting a gut. I was <clears> getting, <throat> it, this is where I get fat instantly, right here. It goes right here, and then it starts pushing out. I think all dudes do, right? I don't know. Some people get it in their face. I get it in my face, too. I feel it in my face when I'm washing my face. My oh, face yeah. feels smaller. Oh, totally. Yeah, I get it in both. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. that's where you feel your face. You're like, damn, my face oh, feels I small. Know. Like, you know the shape of your face. From You wash your face every day. So you get in there, and yeah. you're like, oh, this is like less face. Oh, yeah. Also, a fat face is a bummer. It's a bummer. Yeah, I'm fatter Unless, than I've been ever. <clears throat> I'm like 190 right now. Jesus. Yeah. But it, the, here's the thing that's good about it. I'll, I'll tell you what's bad about it first. Diarrhea. It's rough. And eating only steak gets boring. I like diarrhea. But it, the kind of diarrhea that I'm talking about is like c confusing. Is it's it like explosive? you got to run. Like you do not trust your butthole. It's like, you know, <laughs> it's not telling you until the fire is at the door. <laughs> it's not seeing the fire in the horizon <laughs> and warning you to get to the bathroom. It's like the fire is at. It's making it's your doorknob <laughs> hot. <laughs> what, if you're, what if you're starving, you're far from home, and there's a Burger King and that's it. There's a Burger King for... The I'll just order four Whoppers and then I'll take the meat out of them and I'll just eat the meat. Okay, yeah. that's it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it for the whole month. I had an olive. I guess I cheated a little. How I had dare an you. olive. Fuck, dude. Yeah, you, I, you know I've had uh, a glass of wine here and there, and I guess that's you know, but that's just drinking things. Why did you decide to do it? I want to see what's up because I, I know a lot of people that I respect that have tried, like Jordan Peterson in particular. That guy's a fucking genius, and when he's telling me what a massive impact it's had on him cognitively, he said that intellectually he's at his in his prime. He said all of his uh, immune system autoimmune issues went away, and I that's vitiligo is an autoimmune issue. So I'm seeing what happens with that, too. But that, that isn't really spreading any. But <clears> with him, he was having gum issues, receding gums. That went away. His gums actually came back. Didn't his daughter, wasn't his daughter disease. sick, too? That's why they started it? She's got serious uh, arthritis, like really bad. But and it helped it, right? You see, this is what it is. It's an elimination diet. So instead of your diet breaking down a bunch of different things, it's just breaking down one thing. <laughs> and this one thing that human beings have been eating since the beginning of time. Like this idea that human beings are herbivores is pretty much nonsense. One of the main reasons why we became what we are, they think, is because we started eating meat. We started getting better access to protein from cooking it because we figured out how to harness fire. And then through hunting, we started getting more devious and started you know, thinking and having better critical skills and then eating mushrooms. They think all those things... This is, but that's just the mechanic. Are you taking supplements, though? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you have to, right? Because you're not getting every... No, you I not think, think you You think would. you have any fans that are vegan? Oh, hell oh, yeah. yeah. You do? I mean, all the sure. time. Yeah. Because I, I have a couple of vegan students that... Um, uh, man, one said, I don't listen to JRE no more. Hater. He talks too much about meat. <laughs> and he's like, well, I'm <laughs> vegan. God. <laughs> I talk too much about meat. That's yeah. that's your trigger. Yeah, that's, that's your not, trigger. That's about meat. And it's not it's not Einstein. 97. It's not Einstein. It's, no, it's, I love Einstein. It's Mexican. Mexican. Dude, I, <laughs> ninety-five to ninety-seven percent of the population of the planet Earth eats meat. This is what vegans are. It's very loud and very vocal. You know, but they want to make it look like this is massive movement. Like, no. It's, I don't know, you know, I don't know what your body feels like when you eat things. Everybody's body's different. Everybody's body uh, reacts to nutrients differently. Except for processed foods. We can all agree that's yeah. not good for anybody. Yeah, processed Fast foods food. and sugar are all yeah. bad for everyone. The reason why people are so fucking fat, the reason why everyone's so fat, is carbohydrates and, and fat and Influx. sugar and all yeah. of it mixed up together in massive portions and sedentary lifestyle. There's a bunch of factors. So I've, I've killed a bunch of those factors, right? I killed a sedentary lifestyle. I exercise a lot. Um, I, and then I killed most of the sugar and most of the bullshit. And then before I went on this diet, I, I had gotten off the rails a little bit. Too many, too many carbs. Too much pasta. I was eating like fucking subs. Like yeah, I sleep. fell off hard. You ever, myself. you ever go to Dan Super Subs? No. Oh, son. Wait, they're right here? Up there in Ventura. Oh, oh really? Son. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, you got to get well, the giant. Diet. You got to get the no, giant stop. pastrami. 
The giant pastrami, holy shit, is it good. And it's all bread and fatty pastrami. And look, man, that's a lot of calories. Like, you could have run some Cam Haynes type miles to burn off that shit. But so all the different things that could fuck with your health and all the different things that make what makes you feel good and what makes you feel bad, depending upon your biology, your lifestyle. I'm experimenting, you know? Yeah. So this is my experiment for the month. Just meat for the month. So far, this is the most amazing thing. I would just be, oh sorry, energy, sorry, energy levels like this, straight. There's no That's fluctuations Dude, because the carbs, insulin. There's no carbs. There's no carbs. I'm not having any carbs. Yeah, I'm saying before you're probably t eating carbs. There's some f form of carb. Yeah, so your, your for insulin sure. Insulin was spiking. Yeah. Your days like this. Dude, I would love. I love pasta. <laughs> so bad. I would make like elk sausage and a big bowl of spaghetti. It's so God, good. That sounds nice. It's so good. In the moment, but afterwards, like the amount of time that it feels good versus the amount of time it doesn't feel good, is so massive. Oh, I hate myself afterwards. <laughs> I hate myself. But the amount of time it feels good is like five minutes. Mm -hmm. But goddamn, that's a good five. It's a good. Five. It's a great five. <laughs> it's but a it tight five. It fucks with your whole. It's day. so nice. Like, like think of think of it this way: How often would you want to get laid? If every time you got laid, you gained twenty pounds. You'd be like, every time I'm getting laid, I just keep getting fat. Once a month, then. Once a month. Yeah. Just ride it out. I'd have to see At the end it. of the month, does drop this, that does weight does down again, start looking fresh, get laid. Woo. Jerking off, do you gain like five pounds? No, you don't gain anything jerking off. I'd, I would have to see her. Your boy might get fat right, if she's right, right. bad enough. If she's hot <laughs> enough. <laughs> Brent, five if, she's, pounds. if she's willing to fuck you while you're fat, too. <laughs> That's a special girl. Special girl doesn't get turned off at all by your big fat gut. Doesn't give a fuck. She doesn't care if you gain that They're out there. They're out there. They're out there. <laughs> Chubby chases, bro. So I, you, this is obviously the Goldilocks period, you know, like it's the, you're also it's like it's a honeymoon, right? I just started and you're I into it. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I think you, I don't usually, know about week, doing it. usually about like 13 days in. That's where people break. We're like, fuck this, dude. Or ah, it, I'm not feeling great. It was really boring about five days in. But like I said, now it's today the ninth. So today's the 11th day in. Today was no problem. My, my, I know what I'm doing. My biggest issue I put on weight, especially in December, was uh, the road. Because the I, road will do it. Wherever I go, Philly, it's cheesesteaks, or New York, it's pizza. It's just, it's just you know, I just got to be more disciplined. It's late, too, because, you know, you get done at 1, 2 a.m. Yep. That's, yep. I got to figure it out. Yeah. Um, people did eat like this, though. There's human beings that have eaten like this for long periods of time. Like the idea that they didn't is crazy. Like Inuits eat like this. Um, uh, Native Americans, the Comanches ate like this. Comanches barely ate anything other than buffalo. <laughs>